Mayem. That means welcome in my language. And my name is Gail Marbo. But because I'm here doing a program with you guys, you can call me Yanni Gail. And my family hail from the Torres Straits. Do you know where the Torres Straits are? If you look at this shape, this is the East Coast. So it goes right up to the top of Cape York. At the top of Cape York, then there's some islands up here. And these islands are called Papua New Guinea. So we are the islands in the middle between Queensland and Papua New Guinea. These islands here make up the Torres Straits. So what we're going to talk about today is actually my star map that I made for the Art Gallery of New South Wales called Tagai in the Torres Straits. When we travel from island to island and when the stars are shining in the sky, we look for a constellation that's called Tagai. Now to us, Tagai helps us get home. So when we're in a boat and we don't have any compasses and we can't see at night, we look to the sky and we navigate by the stars. We align all the stars up that we know that lead to our island and that's how we get there. When you see Tagai in the sky, Tagai is actually a man in a canoe. He is standing with his hand out and his hand pointing. So in the hand that points sits the Southern Cross. I want you to find that. So if you know what the Southern Cross looks like, you'll see the shapes. And his hand above his head is where he's holding his spear. He is the warrior who is going hunting. He is the man who goes through the sky to tell us when it is the best time to go hunting. Because in my culture, we hunt turtles. We hunt dugong. Because we don't have a butcher shop that we can go to. So we harvest from the sea. Now on my Tagai map, I have these things. And so these things here, they're, they're shaped like a star. But this is actually a grain of sand that has been put under a microscope and enlarged. And then I used a 3D printer to print them out to show you what this grain of sand looked like. So when I was a little girl, my dad gave me some sand and said, find the stars. And I thought, what are you talking about? That's a bit silly. But then when I realized that the grains of sand look like little stars on my hand, it made me very curious. It made me curious to the fact that I wanted to know and wanted to see them bigger. I believe that if you're curious about something, you should keep looking, looking at things and investigating things because at the end of the day, there can be something that's magical. And for me, this sand is magical. All you kids out there, what I want you to do is when you're having a look at my exhibition, I want you to find the stars that make up Tagai's eyes. So in the Torres Straits, when we talk about Tagai, Tagai also has another meaning of when you follow your Tagai, it means you follow your star. It means that you follow the path that leads you to where you need to be. Sometimes it's good to follow the paths of others, but sometimes we have to forge our own path. And with forging our own path, we become true to ourselves. 